They pinged it out. They knew what was going on. In terms of the bounties, for this end up splitting there. Two for two. So yeah, let's see how some of these lanes go down. Uh, as, you, as you said, you would imagine Jug and Lich should be pretty solid top. Sure. Maybe down bottom, you're actually on the TB, feels a bit of pressure. And then the mid matchup, Oh yeah, well, we'll see who was sort of correct with the uh, the way they drafted it out, because clearly both teams very happy to have these two heroes go head to head. He's just missing a last hit there, a free one. Uh, as we've seen in the past, it's been it's been timber dominant, especially when Quinn has been playing it versus these Ember Spirits. He's phenomenal, just taking advantage of it, and that's where there could be difficulties, even at these lanes and stuff like that. You know, if Liquid does come ahead, that's where Quinn can just break them, right? Because he can make moves to these lanes, to that Broods lane in particular. Attack the tower to, to make sure that the terribly Darachi was able to get. This disruptor pick is cool. I like the point that Brian made quite a bit on panel two. I was looking at quite a bit of history of when they do pick it. Gaming does not pick this hero that often for Celery, but when they are playing versus these heroes that can sneak up the pathing in particular versus this brood versus the bat, that's when they do like to have it. So it's cool because then they also they rounded it together, right? They made the disruptor look even better when they throw in the dark seer potential of the vacuum combos. Absolutely, yeah. Great team fight provided just between the two of them. And, uh, also, just great chase and catch. If the fights start to go the way of gaming gladiators, they can easily combo it into further. Very hard for the liquid to escape from a bad engagement. Yeah, and maybe this kick off. Maybe this top lane isn't going to be as ex easy as expected for Mickey because he does have a Lich, who's a very, very strong hero, but Techies really is just that threatening. And I do see that Senior, he actually took the Frost Shield immediately at level 2. Oopsie, he's gone. It's going to be first blood for Duraccio down here. Good catch from Celery with the Kinetic Field, and there's enough time for the two of them to right-click him out of the game. Duraccio Terrorblade. One of the few Terrorblades, I think, in this tournament that is having, having just still the same success that it usually does. I think most of you were talking about how it's been struggling more than they expected. Low, Liquid, with the Liquid Voxy's death is actually gonna take away the water rune from Quinn. Quinn is actually gonna be put a little bit low on HP here for the next moments. Yeah, definitely seeing, uh, I'm seeing Mickey just get, he's getting poked. The power of the techies, the poke. Yeah. So down bottom again, Zai. Attempting to get onto Duraccio, but yeah. Duraccio is fine. Very hard for kind of Zyta to sort of threaten Duraccio on his own. It's going to take a few levels to come out from Boxy before they have like that magical damage that may be able to pressure and threaten the, the Terror Blade even when he's under his tower. Boxy's actually just going to start pulling waves. Maybe he blocks this small camp too. I feel like just having the small camp available for Celery to reset lane position never feel good. It never feels good for Zai. Yeah, it's going to get he's blocked. Get the block first. Mid lane. Oh my goodness, they're lit oh. <laughs> And uh, Nisha. Bracelet, 1,770 Radiant HP. Very tanky. Yeah, they, they, they can't kill this team. They'll have to commit literally everything onto him and they might not even get him. They're, they're going to go for the last one of the Tofu, but Static Storm's the ready. will stop them from being able to push in for this. Nisha okay. turns, gets the Remnant out. They're on full retreat now. I believe he dodged the glimpse there, I think, with a the slight. They're going to go for Boxy. Uh, Ace even dropping the ball to try and catch him here with a slowdown. Quinn's going to be able to head forward with the Timber Chain. Firefly's gone. Man, Boxy was trying to deny to the Ancients. Not going to do so. As Quinn will get the kill. The like Ace and Quinn in particular, they have to commit a lot. He doesn't actually have the mech just yet, so maybe they try for him. They'll go for the support for him. Try and get rid of Celery before we can get the Static Storm off. He'll still get it down, though. Celery able to easily nice put the Static Storm. They get the vacuum as well. They caught the two in the minute. Nisha, he's out. They'll get insane here as well. They try and go in Celery, but it's, they, they couldn't catch him for long enough. The lasso didn't last and to, to a point Dying where he was anywhere time. close to dying. That was... He very easily got the ult off once for both. Arguments for both. I, I think he also recognizes that, you know, gaming is a very is a team that usually... Actually, I was clicking around. They don't have, actually have a Pavis. Usually they have a Pavis on somebody. They usually just build a lot of these, like, glimmers and auras and stuff like that. So maybe just watch this extra dispel. Okay, Insania. He's just going in looking for Insania. We'll get helped back by the chains, but the vision's there for the glimpse back. Insania, he'll throw out the chain frost. They'll go for the last one to Ace. Ace is still able to put the mech. He will die. Good Omni. Hit the two of them. They get Ace and Tofu. They won't get Quinn, though. Quinn, perfectly fine. Here He's got the Ace as well, running around. They should be able to get Celery also. This time it's game. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh that's pretty horrific. Yeah, Nisha will be having nightmares about that one. Chain Frost. Trying to push Dorashio away here. Radiance middle tower. Oh, bounced too successfully tower. though. They're boarding in on the I spiders. Don't this. If uh, Nisha can get any sort of clean up kills, the, the wall's gonna be dropped down in the midst of it. They're looking at Dorachio. Dorachio's still gonna matter and asunder. It puts the play for you, Dorachio. Get a target, he turns towards Nisha, takes Nisha's health. 
Zai, fighting onwards with the BKB. Dracho still. Terror Blade, they're pulling back with the fist. Dracho's getting busted. He's alive. Living. Dracho, he's gonna live. The team, they're able to bail him out. Dracho splits out to the side of the fight. They've lost Boxy here on the side of Liquid. They're fine. Dracho again in the team. He's still fine. But maybe with the second round of Blade Fury, okay, they can so finish it. They can. They'll finally be able to take Dracho down. Zai, life stealing up on towards Quinn. They get the static storm down. It's gonna trap, in fact, the three of them. What a storm. Quinn is able to take down Zai and Nisha. They will pull back at that chakra. And Celery helps to turn the fight in favor of Gaming Gladiators. They get the glimpse back onto Mickey. Ray Fury back up, I think, for the third time. This fight will allow Mickey to escape. Quinn wants blood. Uh, he's chasing. He's surged up. He's running down the joke. The healing one's going to be there from Mickey. Mickey. He's got to consider how he's going to play his way out of this one. Frost Shield's thrown and down onto him. Kinetic Field again. Yeah. Celery more sure control did. as they set up to take out the Lich. Mickey's kind of standing his ground. Gaming's set up in the area. They might get caught off guard with the vision. They're bringing. Okay, they're bringing the squad. They want to fight again. Got their meta available. It's all being seen by getting that in. Well, vacuum. Oh. Gonna be a vacuum under the three of them into the wall. BKB is out. They'll try and jump over with Tobu, but Tobu's able to get back to safety. Immediate buyback comes in from Boxy. Nisha steps in with the BKB, but has to back away from being close to Dracho. Dracho with the metamorphosis, punching hard back at the two of them. The chain frost gets thrown out, but Quinn Timber chains in, takes down Insania. Liquid's got to run, and this is going to be around Roche soon. Nisha, he's hard to see him. He is, but indeed they've found him. He's out of remnants. He's got nowhere else to jump. He's going to try for the slight TP. It was a good effort, <laughs> but not enough units for him to continue to be sliding around. Nisha could be in trouble. Positioning is going to be crucial. Yeah. For Celery. Look where he has to stand because he doesn't have a blink dagger. He has to be like right behind Quinn for the catch. Well, Zai, they've been able to put the Lincoln's Quinn. He's in with the Shiva's Guard in the Hex. Of course, Zai out of the side. Boxy pops the beacon. He's going to try and go over Wall Dratcher. Now they look at the back line. Jump for Phoenix. He's been able to find Celery straight over towards the disrupt. He's got the chains, but Celery's able to get the Glimmer Cape off. Omni Slash is there over towards Ace, but Ace is still alive. Celery's able to get the static storm down. They've been able to get the Nisha, he's also caught in the edge of it as well. Dratcher's still fighting fit. The Hex is down on Anisha. He's dead. Three gone on Liquid. It took too long. They took way too long to get Celery. They, they, you know, Nisha sort of went all in on it, but I think sort of around the Glimmer Cape and such, they, they just didn't have the detention to finish him off in you time. Liquid has to buy back at least on the Lich. They probably are going to have to buy back even on Mickey unless they just want to sacrifice their sets here. And then there's Insania's buyback. Of course, throughout this all, Insania never spent his money. He didn't. He was, sort of, he was sitting about sort of three and a half thousand, and now he's gone back down to 2.7k. Never spent Die. anything. Yeah, got him with a hex again. I mean, he, Insania's trying to force him back to the base, but they catch him. They've killed the two of them. Neither of them were buyback available as well. This is going to be a huge opening for Gaming Gladiators to take a lead. can make of this. So the creeps are building up. And Mickey knows he can't show. He has to stay under Ninja Gear because they could just jump him and full kill him. He can now pick up for Celery. Yeah. Him, him and Ace. Him and Ace can end it if they get the, the correct jump. And Ace going to start things. He's able to get in there. Get the opening hex on Anisha. Anisha needs help. They've got any way to bail him out. This nope. The tarot wave. He's gone. Boxy will come in with the BKB last one on the Celery. They desperately want to kill this disruptor. They've got the full of hex this time. But won't manage to stop the axe standing stop. But there's the buyback. Celery's going to look to rejoin the team. Nisha will buy back as well. They're trying to stand their ground against Duracha. Duracha getting pretty low. He's able to Sunday Ace. Gets his health back up to pretty much full. Turns to take down Zai. Zai's out without buyback. From the fourth, Anisha will take the first hit. He's, he's back up the full HP. Nisha cannot kill off the Darks here. Mickey's got a Blade Fury back to base. Anisha, he'll have what to waste as well. Mickey, he's going to get dragged back underneath Duraccio. He's out. No buyback on him. Hex on to Nisha. Gaming Gladiators with the full cleanup of the Axe Static Storm locks down the Ember. GG is called. Gaming Gladiators will take this game one. They just keep on doing it, Owen. How do they just keep on doing it? This one, Liquid, what, 12k lead? It's even like they had a chance. One fight is all it takes. This Disruptor, he just gets Static Storm up. They don't finish him off 100 to zero and that was actually devastating because they lost literally